Hey guys, this is Dr. McFarland. Um editing drums today and preparing to lay down bass tracks. So I just want to show you pretty much my method of editing drums, which is all manual. I don't do any dynamic splits or uh, I don't use Pro Tools, so I can't do uh, whatever editing Pro Tools does. I can't even remember at this point. Uh, it's been so long since I've done it. I think Beat Detective, that's what it is. Um, so basically, here's my transients of my drums. I'm basically looking at the kick and snare hits. So here's my grid. Basically, I'm going through and I'm seeing what is either really far off the grid, like these little clumps of waves right here, or if it's pretty close, like this one, I'll keep it right there. Because um, in manual editing... I'm not being so robotic about this grid that um, I'm taking away the drummer's feel. Right? Does that make sense? So, like I said, these two kick drums right here, they're ahead of the, ahead of the beat. But this one, this snare is right on the beat. This is beat two. This is beat one. This is the end of four. So I'm going to slide these forward just a little bit. And then that's going to make this whole section, this whole uh, beat and a half, a little more in time uh, with the click track. So that way when I go back and actually lay down bass and guitars and whatnot, I have a good solid foundation for, um, for my tempo. So as we can see right here... Uh, this is a little ahead. This is more ahead than this one. This was almost, you know, on the grid, but not quite. Same as this. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to slide this forward and kind of make this snare hit right here the general, um, generally on the beat. And this one is now pretty much on the beat. So what I'm going to do is cut this. Slide that back. Um, that's a little bit ahead, but I mean, if you zoom out, who really cares? You know, it's not going to matter. That one's dead on the beat. Um, all right, so we have a little section here that all of this is on here. Off the beat a little bit. So I'm going to bring that on. Uh, these two are on, but the snare is now off. Um, you know, so move that forward. Uh, if I move this back, this whole thing is going to be more off than it already is. So just make as many cuts as you need to. Uh, to get things pretty much in line to where they need to be. Um, and all I'm doing with my left hand here is using S for split and the Alt key, which in Reaper is really cool. Um, as I'm holding down Alt, I'm scrolling with my wheel that's allowing me to go back and forth really fast. And... So I'm just using S to split. And while I have the Alt key held down, I'm able to move the wave within the box, within this waveform right here, without actually moving the physical wave uh, altogether. See that? I can just move it. It's internal. And if I move it far enough, there's my previous wave, which is right there. See how that works? So I'm actually sliding the wave internally in the box and not externally um, like you would normally do if you were adding like vocals or something. Um, I don't know, it's just a really clean way to keep... Keep all your transients where they need to be.
And uh, yeah, so as you can see here, I got a few more measures left. But I just wanted to give you the gist of kind of how I work with drums. Um, I prefer manual mode, even though it may take a little bit longer. Uh, probably takes me like 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how long the drum track is. And uh, how off the drummer tended to uh, sway from the, from the rhythm or from the tempo. Um, you know, if he can't hear the click very well, he's going to be in the general ballpark, but um, it's going to tend to get off here and there. And I'm not looking for perfection. I'm just looking for uh, a consistency within the beat. So I'm going to slide this over where that snare is on the hit. And then that one over there is pretty much on. So I'm just going to cut this, slide this one over, and move on. See, these two are on now. That's on. That's slightly ahead, but it's not enough to matter. Um, and you got to be real subjective with this stuff. Uh, I could cut this. I'm just going to slide it ahead just a little bit. So these four are more on the grid. This one got a little bit ahead. So I'm going to cut, move it back. And if the drummer is really good, and he just uh, tends to get off the grid a little bit, but he's consistent with the whole phrase, then you can just cut uh, around an entire phrase and just move it backward or forward. And it should be pretty much spot on. Uh, but sometimes you got to take it by beat by beat or measure by measure basis. Uh, depending on how well the drummer performed with the click track. So, but um, yeah, here's my drums. Uh, I'm going to turn the metronome on, then turn it off. So you can kind of hear um, how this sounds. And that was drum editing uh, from Dr. McFarland. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.